Okay, so um, the last one we're going to do, or the last video we're going to do on these NPCs is creating a NPC that can just randomly just freely roam around um, as, as it likes, I suppose. Um, so previously we did one which has just got, got an idle animation, one which is set to um, move along a, a set area or a set route, um, and now we're going to add one that can just randomly roam around. So um, I'm going to pop back to Mixamo again, um, as I have done the last couple of times. Uh, if you're not sure about Mixamo, go back to the idle um, NPC one that I did, which introduces it. I'm going to pick this guy this time, and I'm going to go to animations. He's going to be randomly roaming around, so I'm going to um, find another walking animation. Um, what do we want? This one, maybe? Click in place. That'll do. It kind of looks like he's determined. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to turn up the speed this time of this animation. Uh, maybe even more. Overdrive will make it even faster. Ooh, maybe not that much. That's fine. He's even more determined now. <laughs> All right, okay, so we're just going to hit download. Uh, and remember, we haven't got this character in the game yet, so we're going to have with skin and uh, download. Remember, Mixamo um, can be used for your own characters that you've done in a 3D modeling package, as well as the characters that it has um, here. Cool, so that's downloaded. I'm going to go back to my project, to content draw, and go back into my characters. And this time, um, what was he called? I think his name was Abe. That's fine, Abe. I'm going to import. Um, uh, so the last animation um, I brought in, brought in was called walking. Uh, this one is also called walking. Let me just double check that. Yeah, the loads are not called walking. So um, you might want to rename it before you import it, but um, I'm not going to worry too much. I just know that it's walking one. So let's bring that in. Um, just make sure import animations is on. Import all. Just give it a second. Um, but this error again, this happened last time with the character that I bought from Mixamo, but it, it didn't cause an issue. So I'm going to hope that this is the same, uh, still with no problems. I'm also just going to turn down my engine scalability a bit so we don't get any lagging. Um, right, so here is the folder that I just imported. So again, I'm going to create my blueprint class for this character. Uh, we need it to be a, a character so that it has the ability to walk around. Call him Abe. Uh, we have a mesh already, this uh, skeletal mesh here. Uh, so I'm going to plug him in. There he is. And I'm going to use a animation asset. Again, I'm not having to worry about animation blueprints, which is what's so good about these NPC videos. You don't have to do animation blueprints. Just plug in that animation there. Again, we need to move him down so that he is um, on the ground. That looks about fine so far. And hit compile. So there he is. He's ready to start roaming around. So let's go to the event graph. Um, go to that just to start from, from fresh. Because um, what I actually need to do here is I actually need to create a custom event. Um, so um, yeah, we want to call it. So let's just go a add custom event. Uh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter what you, you call it. Um, free roam is the event. We'll call it that. Um, and we want to uh, we want this event to happen from when we start the game. So I'm going to also get an event begin play. And from there, we want to sort of trigger uh, this, this custom event. So um, what did I call it? Free roam. There we go. So all that's going to do is it's going to execute this free roam event when the game begins. Great. So what do we want to actually happen? We want to use another AI move to, like we did before. Uh, the pawn that's moving is itself. So get a reference to self. Um, destination this time is a little bit different. So we need uh, get random. Remember which one it is. Point in radius. 
reachable point in radius. Yeah. So um, a random reachable point in radius. So a point that it is actually able to get to. And that's going to be based on our nav mesh, um, which we did put in before in a previous video. But I'll show you how to add it again. Um, and then the the um, origin needs to be uh, get uh, actor location. There we go. Um, that should be fine. And then basically on success, so when it gets from one point to another, we want it to then just find another one. So on success, it needs to sort of re-trigger the event again. So get free roam to just happen again. If I just compile that. That should be everything that we need. So um, on event begin play, it will start the free roam event. That free roam event will allow the AI to move to a random reachable point. Um, and then once it's done that, it will do it again. So let's just compile that. Let's get our uh, character, so one random one, stick him over there. Uh, I think he's facing the wrong way, yeah. So let me just go back to the viewport again because he's not facing the right direction. So if I rotate that 90 degrees. All right, let's push play to try that. Okay, so he's currently not doing anything. Interesting. Um, so if I get my nav mesh bounds, which is here, I'm going to go ahead and delete that and re-add that in. So what we needed to do is go up here. If you didn't do this already, um, you need to go to volumes and nav mesh bounds volume. <clears throat> Drag that in. And you need to basically scale this to the area that you want your um, AI to be able to move in. So I'm just going to go like that so that it covers the whole map. And if you push P, it will toggle on uh, like a a visible kind of area of where this guy can move. So I actually want him to be able to walk up here as well. So I'm going to scale it upwards so that it includes being able to go up there. And I'm going to push P again so that that's not green all the time. So let's just try that again. Okay, he's not moving still. Interesting. He's not just stuck in the ground. Just lift him up a little bit. Nope, he's just not moving. Uh, so let's have a look again at what I've done here. Hmm. Ah, I know, I haven't put in a radius. <laughs> radius is zero. See, this radius is like the the radius you want your 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 AI to be able to kind of move in. So um, I'm just going to go for like three thousand is a pretty safe bet. That's a pretty large area, to be honest, probably larger than we need. Now push play. So there we go. He's off on his merry way. He's now kind of floating and he's moving really quickly, too fast for the animation. So again, we had to do that uh, in the previous video. So I guess I'm going to scale him down because he seems really large. I want to be a bit smaller. Lower him down a bit as well. And then I'm going to go to character movement and the max walk speed. So lower that to about 300, first of all. How does that look? He still seems to be kind of gliding across the floor and he's still hovering off the ground. Lower him down again. Character movement, 200. Bit of testing involved here. Okay. He's really small now, but it kind of works. Still not quite right, that um, character movement. I think it's still a bit too fast. Um, 170. So it just takes some tweaking to get the speed of the movement to match the speed of the animation. That looks cool. So now he's just going to kind of wander around randomly. Uh, from previous videos, we've got this guy on a specific set patrol. And there's our idle one. So there he goes, just wandering around. Um, let's add a few of them. So you don't just have to have one. You can have a bunch of guys just randomly. So if you've got like a little town or something, and you want some just people roaming around, 
then this works great. And there we go. So you kind of just populate your um, your games, bring them to life a little bit. And you can just do the same thing with multiple different um, character models and things like that. Okay, so what I might just also do, is if I come into here just to show you, what you can do is before it kind of restarts going again, I can put in a delay um, of, uh, let's make it quite obvious that two seconds, push compile, push play, and then what will happen is once he gets to one random location, he should, oh, that guy over there is doing it, it's kind of stop for a couple of seconds and then move on. The only problem with that obviously is that um, he's still, the animation is still going, so it doesn't necessarily work that well for us. If you had him on a animation blueprint where he was only you doing the um, walking animation when moving and an idle animation when still, then that would work a lot better. Um, but because we've got it in this uh, more simple way, the delay doesn't really work so well. So we'll get rid of that. And um, yeah, that about does it for um, NPC animations.